had a little flu sort of bug thing but I did manage to get to a couple of shops while they were in with their dad and I picked up some stuff. First haul I'm going to do, I'm going to have a couple coming up for you. So the first one I'm going to do is B&M. I went in there just to pick up some little sort of stocking stuffers, that kind of thing. Picked up some stuff and I will share with you what I got. No big intro, look, I'm just going to jump right in. So first thing I got was for Davina was this. It's going to glare really badly because it's got the polystyrene wrapper. It's basically just like a cardboard storage box thing and it's got all sorts of animals on it like rabbits and owls and teddy bears and stuff like that on it and it's just like a cardboard box but every Christmas I always get her like notepads and diaries and that kind of thing and so I thought that would be good just for putting them in and storing them in that and that was $1.99 for that so pick that up. Next thing I got for Davina just a little sort of stocking stuffer thing she really likes drinking out of straws and stuff and I thought these looked really really fancy these were one pound 49 delight i have got it's such a dull day and i've got the curtains open but it's so grey outside that i've got like three lamps sat up behind my bed just to try and sort of i really need to get one of those like ring lights but just to try and light it up so everything's got like a really crazy glare off it so i'm going to do the best i can do these straws here it says cheers let's party drink me and clink and they're just in these like gold and black and white designs like this and i just thought that would be a cute little stocking stuffer for her and next thing I got for her were these pack of socks. These were $3.99 and it says on it, let me see, it says Shake, uh, Bored, Diva, Selfie and Rebel. And they've got like silver, they've got like silver thread sort of stuff in it. So they're like kind of like plain on this bit, like nice and soft. And then this bit's like kind of glittery like that. So got those for her. I like getting stuff for Christmas as well that you know that they're going to use. Like not just, you know what I mean? Like socks and jammies and stuff like that as well. Next, I got a couple of things as well that aren't for Christmas, including this thing. I just thought this was really, really cool. It's called, uh, it says Medicine and Accessory, Multi-Purpose Caddy, and it says it's got eight compartments in it, space saving, it's good for makeup, first aid, medicines, toiletries, it's waterproof and it wipes clean. And it's basically like this plastic looking, it looks like, you know, when there's like acry acrylic trays. This was only $1.99 and if you see these in like TK Maxx and stuff, these are crazy dear. These are like, you know what I mean, you'd be paying at least like probably £10-£15 for one this size. And all the compartments are different sizes. So here you've got like three little ones and this side you've got like bigger ones. And then you've got the bigger bits at the side like that and they've got the little handles on the side. I'm not exactly 100% sure what I'm going to use it for but you know I love organising stuff and I thought that would come in handy somewhere in the house at some point. And next thing I got, this is just a sort of novelty gift. This is actually for my Uncle Jim. He loves doing like word searches and crossword puzzles and that kind of thing. And it's actually a toilet roll. Like what a gift to give to somebody. This is £1.69 and it's a toilet roll. See the glare is awful. It's like a toilet roll and on the toilet roll basically it's like little sudokus and little puzzles and stuff like that on the toilet roll. And I thought it would just be a funny little gift. Next thing I got, not for a Christmas present, but you could give it as a Christmas present because it's really, really pretty. This was two ninety nine, and it's called a Scandal and it's called Brown Sugar Allspice and it's by the brand Essence. This is gorgeous. Like this smells so, so nice. I'll show you what the jar looks like. It is just really, really nice. It smells gorgeous. It's so nice. So like festive. It's got like a hint of cinnamon in it, but not that. I like cinnamon candles but I don't like them so sharp it kind of hurts your throat kind of thing. That's not it. It's nice and it's sweet without being sickly sweet and it's got the two wicks in it. But the lid is really really pretty. It's like all these silver leaves on it. And that I think that would make a really pretty little gift for someone. And that was two ninety nine. And next thing I picked up was for a okay, basket the side of me as I'm taking this out everything's collapsing. Picked this up for Alexander. It's three ninety nine. It's one of these I don't know what you call it, like a punch bag kind of thing because he's six and he's a little boy and apparently he just likes to punch and play fight with absolutely everything. So I got him that. It's like a wrestling thing. I don't really know a lot about wrestling, but it's got like a wrestler on it. Basically you blow up and I think it has like sand or something in the bottom and you sort of punch it and it comes up and down. Basically three ninety nine. Pick that up for him. I'm sure he'll love it. Next thing for Davina, another sort of novelty type thing, it is this. It's for an iPhone. I, I th it says for an iPhone, but I don't know if it says iPhone stand, but I don't know if it would do. It says iPhones 5, 6 and 6 plus only. I don't know if it would do any other type of phone, possibly not. No, see, it's got like a little slit in here and I think you can charge it while it's in this, but it's also a stand so you can like sit your phone in the little duck face. I am really just apologising about the glare because it's annoying me. I'm going to try and hold things in a certain way so it's just this cute little duck face thing like this and this was 
for 99 for that. You buy things like that at Christmas that you would never ever buy any other time of the year. Like when else would you buy a, a iPhone duck face stand any other time of the year? You just wouldn't. The next thing I got was for Dora, my little doggy, and it is this pig. It is made of the plushest, softest material. It's got like little floppy arms and little floppy legs and then the little tummy on it. It's got these little paws on it here and this is like a little bit firmer so she would need to sort of really chew to get into that. And I think, and this is squeaks. I'm not going to squeak it because once somebody told me that I squeaked a toy in one of the videos and their dog came running so I don't want to annoy any of these dogs but it's got a little squeaker in the tummy and I just thought it was really cute. And that was $1.99, so I'm going to put that aside for her Christmas. And for Davina, for her room, we are... I've already gathered some stuff. I think I've showed it in hauls before. I've stuff to decorate her room. And this is one of the things to decorate her room. I'll probably give it to her for Christmas, but it's really for her room. It was $2.99. It says, enjoy the little things. And it is this candle here. It's got the handle and then it's got the like gold chevron on it and this is a kind of sort of theme thing she wants with her room like the chevron and the gold and stuff so I thought that was really pretty so picked that up for her. Next thing I got pretty much just a novelty thing but it's kind of useful as well I'm not 100% sure who this is going to it's a colour changing um, umbrella and it changes colour when it was wet when it was wet when it's wet and this was $3.99 and I just like the idea of it. It's got white love hearts around the outside of it and when it gets wet it changes to like pink and purples and blues and yellows like that. I just thought that was pretty cool sort of novel type thing. So pick that up. Did I say how much that was? It was $3.99. Next thing I picked up for myself was this. It was £1.49 and it says uh, blusher brush but I'm not using it for it's just it's slightly angled like at the top it's just a sort of small sized brush and some most of the time when I put on blusher I'll put oh I've got like a blusher brush that I use but I usually put on like a little tiny bit of like, bronzer just because I'm so so pale and the brush that I've got to put on the bronzer is too big so you end up with like your half your face all sort of bronze so I thought this would be good just to put some on under where my blush is basically a long explanation blusher brush but not for blusher and bronzer so I've got that Next thing, another kind of novelty thing, I think I'm going to give this to my brother for Christmas. We always get each other sort of real, I don't know, like cheesy kind of things. So this is one of the things I'm going to get him. Though I think this would look kind of cool sitting in an office to be honest with you. This was $1.99 and it says floating stylus pen. And it is just this pen basically that sits in a little base and it's a silver pen like that. And it was $1.99 and I got that for him. Whether he uses it or not, I don't know picked this up this is shouldn't be in here I don't know why I put it in there I got some food stuff as well and some like a couple of toiletry things and I didn't put them in but this somehow sneaked in it's soft and gentle and it's lotus and watermelon and it's anti-white marks for sensitive skin this smells absolutely amazing it's really nice really fresh and they don't test on animals so love that stuff next thing I got was for the house and it is this eco-friendly bamboo dish brush and it says made from sus sustainable bamboo and recycled plastic this was $1.99 and it's just got the bamboo wooden hand it's really really sturdy like I don't like the ones where you feel like it's going to fall apart when you're because I really like to scrub stuff and it's nice and sturdy and it's got like the plastic and it's nice coarse plastic like this and I like that it's eco-friendly so pick that up and another little dog toy this is not for my dog this is for my sister's dog who is Dora's sister so pick this up she prefers the much harder toys to the soft toys so I picked this little hard bone up it also has a squeaker on the inside but I'm not going to squeak it this was a pound and I'll put that in her little sort of Christmas basket so got that also picked these up 150 gift tags and they're basically just little gift tags that you put on the presents i usually don't use these i usually just write on the presents or just lazy like write on it with a pen but this year i thought i'll make it easy, i don't know easier for myself and like pre-write these all out and just stick them on so pick them up and you get 150 for a pound so pretty good to deal next thing for alexander just a little toy it's one of these little mashup things it's a star wars one i can't tell you what that character is because I have no clue. I don't think I've ever seen a Star Wars film. But yeah, he likes these little mashup things where you can like take off the legs. He's got loads of them. So you can like take off the legs and arms and heads and stuff and mix them with all the different characters. So got him another one of these for Christmas. And I think we're nearing the end. We've got two more things and these are actually my two favourite things. I'm going to show you this first. This, I have never seen anything like this. This to me is really... 
I don't know, really novel, just kind of weird thing. It's called, it's by the brand Moodles. And it says, presents grump, uh, grumpy, moodle your troubles away. And it just looks like this. And it's really nice quality. Like the pages are nice quality. And what it is, is basically, it's, the brand is like Moodles, but it's like a doodle book, but it's to cheer you up. It's meant to, I don't know, enhance your mood or something or make you feel better. There's like a whole thing in the beginning of, of it. It says, what is a mood like here, you ask? Well, a Moodle is just a doodle with the power to change your mood. It goes on and on, but I won't like give you, I won't like read the whole thing to you. But basically, it's just got funny little things in it. Lots of different, like draw this and draw that and fill this in and fill that in and just like doodle and stuff in it. I just thought this was like really, really novel i liked it and this was 1.99 so i picked this up for my daughter davina and next thing i got was for myself i am a list um, do you know what i'm going to do i'm going to take the sorry about the noise i'm going to take well i'm going to attempt to take the cellophane off this so that it doesn't glare when i show you it oh, there we go yeah i got this for myself i'm a crazy list writer like write lists all the time and have so many different books and notebooks about that i often forget what one i've written lists in and what is in what and so i thought i will get this and put everything in the one thing and it says it's basically called a list book and it contains sticky notes notepads and tabs this was 2.99 it's got the little band thing to keep it shut they had another design that was more like, like little animals and stuff which i quite liked as well and i would have picked it up it was a bit kind of scuffed whereas this one had the cellophane on it and it was in good condition so i picked this one up and you've got your pad here like this where you can write your list or whatever just pretty plain lined paper there and then here if I lift this up here, you've got your little, what do you call it, like little list thing. I would say this is more like a to-do list thing because it's got the little tick box at the side of it. So you can write what you want to do and then put a little tick when you've done it. So I really like this. This will come in super handy for like housework and stuff. Your little post-it note kind of things here and then your little tab things here. And I just thought that was a really good little sort of planner list book thing. I really liked it. And did I say how much it was? This was 2 99 <sighs> and breathe that is me done so that is everything i got from b&m like i said i've also got a home bargains haul coming up and i also have uh where did i go into i went into tk maxx as well so i'll have those up for you very soon i might i just might if my battery lasts i might just carry on filming right now and get them up for you very very soon to make up for the fact that i've been away for a little while so thank you so so much for watching if you do like this video Give me a like and let me know just so I know what kind of videos like, you like watching and stuff like that. Just so I can get an idea of what ones you like, which ones you don't like, that sort of thing. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!